Hi everybody, this is Sethi Readings and hi Gemini. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you in case this reading resonates. There will be a link in the description box to the extended. Also, if you guys would like to know more about the person you're dealing with and any additional information, you can have a look at the extended link below or your rest of the year predictions will also be in the description box below. I'm going to start this reading off by pulling oracle messages, which these are energy oracle cards, and then I'm going to move on to tarot messages, okay? So let's see what messages are going to show up for Gemini today. What does Gemini need to know that serves their highest good? What is there for Gemini today? Let's have a look. Awakening genius. So some of you have been feeling motivated motivated to do certain things, achieve certain things. This is number 29. So any numbers that I mention, do pay attention to them. Um, it does look like some of you could be an artist, you could be a painter, you could like there's something here about you being creative, or being creative really nourishes your soul. Okay. I'm hearing unfinished project. I know what earth magic which is number one i don't see these cards very often like i do use i don't use this deck very often either but then beside that i don't see these cards very often so there's this energy of a new beginning of being grounded being stable or finally feeling like things are coming into alignment when it comes to how things are manifesting in your life gemini okay um I am going to read for you what the cards are saying briefly, so you do not have to worry. Spirit of Gratitude, number 43. There's a lily on the card, so we will see. Is that a lily? I hope so. <laughs> so I'm going to read for you what the cards are saying um, really quickly, and then I'm going to move on to your tarot messages. Earth magic. Earth magic speaks to the intrinsic relationship that you all that you and all living beings have with the consciousness of the earth also known as gaia imagine the oak tree that begins to journey as an acorn gathering the life force energy it needs from the earth so that it can sprout from the ground be still for a moment quiet your thoughts and imagine anchoring energy anchoring your energy to the sacred quality of being a part of this living earth do this mindfully to connect to the divine intelligence with the power to create the perfect form from the essence of a tiny spark of life indeed this is miraculous the message now is to trust that the seeds you've planted in the field of dreams are in good hands the earth is a consciousness um, and it is conscious divine source of love that is doing its part on your behalf so slow down and take in the beauty of your life now a lot of you are being told to be more mindful maybe go out for a walk in the nature um, meditate there's anything that you can do that may ground um, your energy for now okay um, let's see awakening genius the ancient Greeks believed that each person had a perfect genius that acted like a spirit guide, inspiring you with new ideas to further your evolution as an individual. You could say that the genius is a spirit of creative expression. When you tune into it, amazing things happen. When your genius awakens, you you realize you do not have to do everything yourself. You have an inspired, dedicated, wise helper on your side. The word genius comes from the Latin, I don't know what that word is, whatever meaning to bring forth or birth and shares the same root as the word generate okay hmm, that's new you are at this moment about to give birth to a new mode of expression and a powerful one at that commit to partnering with your genius and only deep satisfaction and success will come as a result wow so it's like a lot of you are being told of who you are like believing in yourself and also there's something here about you making money through some sort of creative work or it's like what you do for a living when you are more creative with it it's like how you're able to really attract more wow spirit of gratitude expressing gratitude and asking to be of service is the most powerful 
prospering prayer of all. When you focus your attention on appreciation for even the smallest aspects of your life and what you have already experienced, it is waving a it is like waving a magic wand. Everything that you need comes to you without effort. Obstacles fall away and your purpose becomes even clearer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oops. Oh. What's that? We have Ace of Cups as your first cut out. So love is coming your way. There's some sort of good news. Also, this energy of emotional fulfillment. Okay. So we're going to have a look and see what that is. We have Nine of Wands. I feel like when it comes to love generally or opening up to love, a lot of you have been in this energy of just feeling like you're tired of something. Of just feeling like you don't want to be a part of something <clears throat> and we have C Tom which is the not a cups and the star card at the bottom of the deck it does look like Gemini there's someone here who's viewing you as the one or it's almost like there's someone who feels like you're the kind of a person they want in their life you're the kind of a person they want to be with it's almost like there's someone um, Gemini who's looking up to you or it's it's like idealizing you I don't know who this is it could also be a friend sometimes we have friends around us that are also idealizing us okay um, but yeah Some of you have been like in this playful energy or you just want to enjoy your life without the hassle of, you know, okay, there's something I have a long ass to do list or it's like just telling you to be in the moment as much as possible. Your challenge. Some of you have been waiting on some form of money related issue or it's like you've been waiting on something. Some of you are in this energy of feeling like, okay, is this something that I should invest my money into or is this something that I should invest uh, when it comes to love, okay? Your challenge is the Empress position. Em Empress position? <laughs> Your challenge is the Empress, which is you know sitting in the middle of the spread i do feel like when it comes to your challenge there's just been this energy of you feeling like you're you know you you wake up and you have things to do you have errands to run and the empress energy is kind of like telling you to embrace your feminine energy even if you're a guy watching this there's something here about like you just resting relaxing a little bit taking a day off taking an hour off whatever it is that you got to do to get back into that progressive energy because rest is also something that we all need to be able to show up for the things um a lot better okay so both of these cards are talking about grounding your energy okay there's really something here about you creating magic in your life but also a need for you to take a step back and relax uh, gemini eight of wands is showing up here and eight of wands is a card that has shown up for so many signs in these set of readings there's really something here about um there's really something here about manifesting um some sort of good news or fo positive forward movement in your life okay so there's this energy of manifesting
a good like there could be communication or there's just like eight of wands can talk about things moving forward okay um What's that Eight of Wands about for Gemini? The Strength card. Okay. Um, that's an eight and Strength is also a number eight and we are in August, which is number eight as well. So there's really something here about, you know, eight is a very powerful number and um, there's really something here about you realizing your potential um gemini and also like there's something here about you holding back because there's just something that does not align with your values and your standards um i just feel like gemini you're in a very powerful energy right now like really there's something powerful about you and what you're manifesting two of wands you may have a decision to make very soon it could be between two different career pots or whatever it is there's this energy of a decision wow ten of cups and the queen of pentacles so i like it bottom of the deck is the nine of pentacles so money is looking really good for you here um gemini i do feel like for a lot of you um this is a great month to manifest money or to do something money related <clears throat> in order to attract what you truly desire now you have the ten of cups and the queen of pentacles showing up i do also see you spending time with your family with your loved ones more um some of you are going to be spending time with your um kids your wands i see you moving forward and making a decision it could be about a relationship or a family situation too but whatever decision you're making this is like it's bringing more stability into your life okay we have the seven of wands i also feel like gemini someone could show up and try to have an argument with you just be mindful of that it could be someone at your work some of you have a feminine energy who's very bossy i don't know if it's a co-worker or someone else but there's a um, bossy feminine energy around you show me something for the person that they're dealing with remember the energy of your person is like i'm going to clarify more in your extended or have a look at what's up the fire tom is in the reverse oh damn eight of cups no i don't like it <laughs> this, is okay. this is an emotionally unavailable person this is someone who has a huge ego but they love you this is someone who is inconsistent but they love you the knight of wands reverse and the eight of cups says all about their behavior this is someone who does not want to lose you but they want to play mind games with you they're inconsistent and this is a player like energy like some of you might have distanced yourself from this person because you want for them to act right you want for them to show up for you the way you want okay damn bottom of the deck is the grace card which is um temperance yeah they've been holding back four of pentacles damn but with that king of cups energy they have love for you i do see them showing up and this could be a decision that you have to make anyway that's about it gemini those were the messages that showed up for you today have a look at the extended if you wish to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye bye